Sue Cowley's come to Greenholm Primary to coach teacher Evan Sang as she takes a year four lesson on 3D shapes. Sue will watch the lesson from a nearby room using hidden cameras and microphones and provide instant feedback for Evan through a hidden earpiece. Sue will be explaining ways to control the levels of noise in a classroom and seeing how Evan manages her class. The class can be kind of noisy right. um, when I set them off to do the work. Um, and I'd just like some ideas on how we can get them settled down quickly. And also, I've got things like table points and, you know, to reward them for sitting down and doing that. But I'm just wondering if there's any other, any other things, things I can do. Um, and then also whether my instructions have anything to do with it, whether they are concise enough. Evans asked me to look at different aspects of her teaching. First of all, she wants to deal with the overall noise levels in the classroom, because Year 4 are known as quite a noisy year group. Is she being concise enough? Why is it that the children don't settle to task as quickly as she'd like? She wants to think about how she deals with individuals. So sometimes when she has to give um, a pupil a comment, you know, this isn't quite right, she feels that it just puts them off entirely. So she, can she frame that in a more positive way? Now, we're joining Yvonne as she's just starting off her morning. She's taken the register, the class have done a quick mental maths activity, and now she's going to do some work with them on 3D shapes. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to name 3D shapes, OK? You should also be able to say what properties they have, so how many faces, how many vertices, OK? Also, recognise 3D shapes in everyday objects. OK, what does that mean? You did some of this for homework last week, actually. Anya? Like things around your house. Yeah. It might not even be things around your house. It could be buildings, OK? Structures outside. Ivan, the next question you ask. Can you say, I want to see lots of hands up this time? OK. Right then. So, cube shape. Think about it. Lots of hands up. Come on, then. Think about it. Cube. Something that's a cube shape. More hands than that. Come on, everybody. Come on, then. Jack? Can you give me an example? 3D square, yeah, OK. What's fascinating about this particular way of coaching is that I'm not influencing the children at all. They don't have any sense that I'm here speaking to Avan. And what I can observe is her style as it genuinely is. Now, there's certain aspects of her style that are just to do with her personality. That's just how she is as a person, and that's how she comes across as a teacher. And she's not going to change that. She's not going to become somebody different. What I need to pick up on is those aspects of her style which are affecting the quality of the teaching and learning. So does she need to be slightly firmer? Does she need to be clearer? Does she need to be more concise? OK. Shh. Uh, 40, a bit too much noise. Thank you. Yeah. Ivan, just, just pause for a second. Just pause. Good. Just use a few non-verbal signals. Okay. Okay. Sit down nicely. Uh, Charlie, can you pack away the whiteboards and pens? Can you hold up your activity in activity sheets in the air, please? She's saying, "Can you do this?" rather than, "I want you to." And when you frame things as a question rather than as an instruction, sometimes it, it gives the children less of a sense that, you know, that you must be doing this. Can somebody come and point to a edge on here? All of you should be able to come and point to an edge here. Ivan, can you shape. say, I want to see who's sitting really beautifully, hands I straight want to see up who's in Who's sitting nicely, sitting up nice and straight? OK. Now, cuboid, get your activity sheet from the back here. It says activity three on it. And again, you will do that in your box. Cylinder, you're working with me on here. 
Spheres and Pyramid, you're working with Miss Tracy. I think there's several things that are missing. I think a target is missing, a sense of a kind of urgency. So this group, you're going to have five minutes, so a time target, to come up with three ideas for each of these shapes. So they have that sense that they are moving forward, that there's a sense of pace, a sense of motion. Also, she hasn't clarified with them how they are going to do this activity. Are they discussing it as a group? Are they talking to a partner? Are they doing it silently? What's the overall noise level going to be in the class? Now, what we'll see once they're on activity is, are they uncertain? And do they use that as an opportunity to push the boundaries and be noisy and go off task? Okay, go and just please and tell we've got people. Eight. How many edges? Sorry? Count eleven? And if there's enough shapes for them each to have one, can you give them one shape each and say to them, right, you've got two minutes, and I want you to explore that shape individually. See if you can count the edges, the vertices. So get them really hands-on with this. Okay. They want to get their hands on the stuff. It's like every child everywhere in the world, really, isn't it? Rather than the teacher holding it, you're much better off to give them a minute or two to explore it individually. Here, have a shape, have a look at it. Because when you're holding it and counting, it's abstract. When they're holding it and they're actually feeling it and counting it themselves, then it's concrete. And faces of your shape. Now, count. Count the vertices, edges and faces of your shape. I'll come back in a bit, OK? By the time I come back, I want you to have counted the faces, edges and verses. Now, who has not worked with Miss Thompson or with me? Hold on. Who has not worked? You've worked with Miss... Listen to the question, OK? Who has not worked with either myself, me or Miss Thompson? OK. Are we going to listen to that question again? Put your hand up. No, let's try it differently. Put your hand up if you have worked with me or Miss Thompson. OK? Thank you. OK, so all of you have worked with us. Well done, OK? What's lovely here is Yvonne started coaching herself. So she's asked the class, right, who hasn't worked with me or my TA? And that's totally confused the children. And She's tried it again and it still hasn't worked. And then she suddenly realised that she needs to ask a positive rather than a negative. And okay, what about? all of a sudden she's just kind of relaxed and has started enjoying herself and has started being able to reflect on what she's doing as she, almost as she goes along. She's doing a great job. Okay. Hexagonal. Hexagonal what? Well done. E, X, A, B, O, N, A, O. Although this is quite a, a noisy activity, they do seem engaged. I'm not... I don't feel that they're coming off activity yet. I do feel she hasn't given them a sense of how long they've got for this particular part of the lesson. So, in a moment, I'm going to try and coach her to give the whole class a moment where she brings them back together. Right, you've got five minutes, ten minutes. How long have they actually got to do this activity? It doesn't exist. How many faces does your shape have? Can somebody have a It's just missing here. Not the one here. Oh, and this one. This is a face. Okay. Ivan, in a moment, I think it would be worth pulling the whole class together, reminding them about noise levels, okay. reminding them about how long they've got left on this activity. Right, three, two, one, zero. Lovely, just wait. 
this way. Give them a moment. Everybody looking this way. Look this way, please. Do you know what? Alex and Simran, well done, you're looking this way. The whole of spheres are ready, and so are nearly most of cubes now. Only two people that I'm waiting for. That's great, Yvonne. That was lovely. That's really nice. You're doing fantastically. Well done. Now then, does anyone not have a shape? OK. Right then, this time, I want you to count the edges and the vertices of your shape. Two minutes. She's really understood that she can allow that group to go for it, okay. have two minutes, she can pop on? round to all the other groups Fantastic. and come oh, back yeah. and see how they've got on. Hidden three so far. OK, what about this side? Can you put your shapes into the boxes, please, quietly? Oh, Jack, well done. Amani, well done. Really quietly here. Some people have started, some people haven't. They need to pack away. OK. <laughs> Morgan, well done. Roman, well done. Ellie, well done. OK, do you know what? I'll take the sheet. I'll take this one. And it's done. So Yvonne's bringing the okay. lesson to a close now. Okay. She's asked me to look at the idea of noise levels. Are they too high? What can she do about it if they are? Now, what I've noticed is that's really closely linked into her giving of instructions. Where she's been able to give clear, targeted instructions and the children are on task, I don't personally feel the noise levels are too high at all. I think it's when they're confused about what they're meant to do and how long they've got to do it, that's when the noise levels start to come up. Good. And what do we mean by properties? The properties are 3D shapes. Who can tell me? Latoya. Yep. What else? Again? We've done edges, the vertices, and the... Who can...? One more. Who can help? Oh, all of you should be able to help. Come on. Marisha, we've done the edge. We looked at the edges. How many edges? How many vertices? How many...? Fantastic. Good. OK? Right then. So, what have you been doing this lesson, then? What have you been learning about this lesson? Good. And what do we mean by properties? properties? You know, teachers yep. are classically brilliant at criticising themselves. We're forever saying to teachers, be really positive with your kids. I think she's doing a fantastic job. She's got a lovely relationship with the class and they are engaged with their activities. I find it really useful. Um, I really like the fact that you gave me just little prompts. Um, that helped the lesson go along nicely. And you were really quick to pick up on stuff when I said to you, you know, set them a target, you were straight yeah. in there doing it. Yeah, the children liked the targets as well. Um, they had something to work towards and they knew exactly what they needed to get done. I think you did great. There was lots of use of names. There was, you were looking for the positive the whole time, which I think you did absolutely brilliantly. You should give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, well done. You.